Hello, Jim Banks here. Uh, I just wanted to make a very quick video to show you how you can spy on your competitors. And I'm going to do it with the benefits of this wonderful whiteboard that I have behind me. So let me, let me kind of talk you through. It's a 10 step process and then there's a bonus. Uh, so step number one, make a list of 10 competitors. What I would suggest you do is you, you need to kind of make a list. I mean, if you want to make it more, fine. If you have less, that's fine as well. Uh, but, but 10 is probably kind of a good number because there's a fair amount of work that you need to kind of do to kind of manage this on an ongoing basis. I mean, finding competitors easy, um, but then obviously uh, keeping the, the kind of data up to date is a little bit more difficult. So I would suggest that 10 is probably the ideal number. Um, so the next thing you need to do is you need to like their Facebook page. Again, sounds kind of obvious that, that um, you know, that would be the next thing you, you, would, you would do. Um, the reason that we obviously need to like their Facebook pages, we're, we want to see what ad strategies they've got running with Facebook. Um, so if you like their most recent post, then, you know, what you'll then be in a position is, you know, what you'll find is that quite quickly after that, you'll start to see ads that may appear if they're running any ads on Facebook. I mean, it may be out of your 10 competitors, five of them are doing ads and five of them are not. Uh, there's no kind of rhyme or reason to it, but if they are, then then ultimately that's what, what um, will trigger you seeing them. Um, the next thing I, I would suggest is there's a, a kind of cool Chrome plugin. If you're not using Google Chrome, you should be, uh, but there's a really cool Chrome plugin. It's called Turbo Ad. Um, basically what it does is it, it um, does completely the opposite of what a lot of people would like to happen. A lot of people don't want to see ads at all. Um, what this particular Chrome plugin will do is it'll actually show you nothing but ads. So what it'll do is it'll take all your friends, pictures and, you know, political rants and everything and just take those completely out of the, out the picture and all you'll be left with is just you know in my in my view the glorious ads um, obviously once you've done that you can obviously find um, your competitors ads in amongst that assuming that they're there um, but again what what I would probably suggest you do is if, if you use a program like Snagit Snagit will allow you to kind of create a screen capture of the the ad itself um, and I would definitely suggest you, you keep a, a like a swipe file of, of ads that you've seen. Um, and again, maybe if you kind of keep a swipe file in a Word document um, or a, a kind of Google Doc, then what you're able to do is you're able to, um, to kind of put notes underneath it. So again, if there's, you know, if you like it, say why you like it. If you don't like it, say why you don't like it. And obviously you'll build up over time a, a kind of a really good um, portfolio of, of kind of assets that other people have used. So when you're actually creating your own assets, you can refer to this file and say, I like this, I don't like this. So then if you have a creative team, they can kind of create something that, that's kind of a, more akin to what you want it to be. Um, so once you've actually kind of found the ads, created them in a swipe file, um, what, you want, what you want to try and do is you want to try and say, okay, well, why, why am I actually seeing that ad in the first place? So what you can do is you can click this drop down arrow in the rock top right hand corner, and um, I'll, I'll reference it in the, um, the, the actual video. Um, but if you if you click the the, the, uh, the, the drop down at the top, um, it gives you the options of hiding the ad. Um, but one of the the one that we're interested in is why am I actually seeing this ad? Right, this basically tells you what the targeting has been set up for. Um, and again, what I find quite often when I'm looking at the um, the kind of targeting that the advertisers have set up, you know, this far too broad. So they're basically saying we're targeting you because you know you're seeing this ad because you're a certain age or people are over 18 and they're in the United Kingdom, right? And for me, it's like, well, that's really not particularly good targeting at all. Um, so once you've done that, what, what I would suggest you do is, you know, make a, make a Google sheet and just kind of write down who the competitor is, what day you saw the ad, you know, again, maybe put title description, um, a link to the, the, the kind of Snagit capture that you've got. Um, and also, you know, the, the actual, here's the reason why I was seeing that ad. Right. And from there, you'll be able to build up a decent profile of these are the competitors that I don't need to worry about. And these are the ones that I do need to worry about. Um, so once you've kind of filled the details in on the Google sheet, it's very tempting to go at that point. OK, I've got that information. I'm going to stop now. Um, but, you know, but again, I would continue to like their their page because then if they do post kind of ads in the future, you'll still get kind of access to those. Um, yeah. So you'll be able to continue to spy as they advertise. Um, Last kind of like, this is more of a sort of a power tip really. Um, you know, one of the things that you find whenever you click on, on any ad that kind of appears that there's a link that says manage ad preferences. Um, what I would suggest you do with the manage ad preferences, if you ever want to, to kind of reset 
um, your your preferences because again you'll, you'll you'll be surprised as much as you might think Facebook are great at, at um, understanding who you are and what you're all about quite often they get it wrong and certainly for people like us who work in the the kind of the advertising ecosystem I mean quite often we're going to pages and we're looking at things based on research for clients so you know it's not really kind of indicative of who we are as, as people um, so again it's a good way for you to reset your ad preferences to kind of remove things that you, you know you feel may be restricting what you you might be seeing in terms of kind of competitors so again if you wanted to um, you know if you wanted to kind of target a competitor where you know that their target demographic is going to be female and 25 to 34 for argument's sake and you're that not that type of person you know you can kind of reset your um, you know your Facebook preferences to kind of um, basically neutralize that and say okay well you know start from scratch um, so that's the, my very short video like I said I got asked the question of um, you know how do you actually spy on competitors and this this is a way in which I would do that hope you like the video and if you want to see more of them then leave a comment below and uh, tell me what, what sort of things you'd like to see because I've got a great camera I've got a great whiteboard um, and hopefully I've got some great ideas and uh, speak to you soon bye